Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sport. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Tim Hardaway. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Jones is out there with Green, and it's Lively in at the five. And for Utah, We'll see Markinen and Collins at forward. Cohen Sexton is out there with Dunn, and it's Kessler in at center. Here we are in the second of two games in a row, Doris, that these teams have played. Expecting any big changes in strategy in this one? That could very well be the case, Kevin. They know what each other is all about, and now you have a chance to try out perhaps some different tactics, throw a wrench in defensively that you haven't showed yet. Now, here's Dunn. The dish to Markkinen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. That one is off. LDB the Jazz have managed to stay competitive while going into a rebuild. Kevin, you've got to give Utah credit. That is not an easy task. They have managed to amass a great deal of first-round picks and young talent and still remain focused on winning. Truly incredible. And he sinks the second. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. How done. Pass to Collins. And finish off by Collins. And that's two tough points from Collins. Willing to mix it up down low. Conchich outside. Back to Irving. Over Sexton. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Donchich. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Here's Dunn following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Markkinen kicks to Sexton. A three-pointer is right on target. That's just great recognition from your big man, right? Markkinen is going to find the open teammate and put it on time and on target. I love this guy's passing skills. Now, here is Irving. His last outing, 16 points for him. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Irving's got seven points in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Sexton. Some solid defense there from Irving. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. It's up a three. Another three for Dallas. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Jazz have gone two or three here to start out the game. Sexton against Irving. Unloads from 13. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got his second best. Colin Sexton early in his career has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. From 15 feet away, and Dallas again with the bucket. Are you kidding? Five for five, and they just got started. 
outside, marking it. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Last break. Here come the Jazz. Goes back up. Done outside. Fires for three. And Utah, another three. Now, this is the area that Dunn is working on. Wants to be a proficient catch-and-shoot guy. Irving passes to Lively. Doncic way outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Utah's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Passes it to Collins. Now, here's Markinen, covered by Irving. Left block shot on the way, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. One of the things about Markinen's teammates, they encourage this guy to be aggressive. They know how skilled he is. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And he's at nearly 90% from the free throw line this season, so having a terrific year. That free throw good from Markinen. And guys, Markinen, there's no question about his offensive talent. His skill set is the perfect match for the way the game is played today. And Markinen drops them both. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. Five on the clock. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Done against Doncic. Done outside. Lost to Markinen. The tray. Here's Kessler. And he drops in the way up off the goal floor. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Doncic feeling it out. On the wing, Irving. Shot to stop the run. Rebound, Utah. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. Yeah, I remember last time they met up, they just got ran out of the building. They weren't too happy with some of the calls in that game either. Yeah, their starters got into foul trouble, and it felt as if some of the calls were tick tack no doubt. But nonetheless, damage was done. Now, here's done. Following the miss by Kyrie Irving. And there's the bucket for marketing. That's too good a look to get there from behind the arc. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Back in the 2022 offseason doors, the Jazz traded their two All-Stars, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. And what that got them, Kevin, was a ton of draft picks. But to me, the real prize is Lowry Markin, who made the All-Star game, and Walker Kessler, who looks like a big-time stud, particularly on the defensive end. Taking a look at some numbers here for Kyrie Irving. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And it's nice when you have the NBA's best free throw shooter just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been completely automatic this season. against Doncic. Outside Irving. Pass to Lively. Dallas moving it around. Four on the shot clock. And Jones slams it home. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now, here's Dunn. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. 
Kicks it to Collins. To the inside. Here's Sexton. And it's good. With time running down on the shot clock. Sexton's got seven points. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Donchich outside. Here's the screen. Drills it from outside. He's got five. We know this is one aspect that Luka consistently goes to. It's either in the paint or from deep. You've got to guard the long ball. Now, here's Dunn. Down low. Kessler with the bucket. Kessler. And the Jazz lead by seven. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Back to Doncic. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Down against Doncic. And the pass to Kessler. Now Markinen. Dunn outside. Fires the three. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Weifel. Hasn't made one yet. Irving looking over the floor. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Utah. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. And part of the show tonight, Doris, Kyrie Irving's phenomenal handle. And hey, Kevin, if you ask any NBA player who their favorite to watch is, many will come up with the name Kyrie Irving. It's the ability to have that elite handle, the footwork, the creativity, the ability to shoot a jumper, the pull-up, the lay-in. This guy is absolutely amazing. Now, here's Dunn. Six points for him. Here's Kessler. It's rebounded by Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Seven-point differential. Yeah, the court awareness that Luka plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. Utah has gone four or five from three-point land to get things going here in the first. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jans. Just checked in, and Georgia subbed in for Dunn. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Kyrie Irving. Left side, George. Back to Clarkson. Over Jones. Clarkson finds Kessler. Count it. Kessler's got six points. Assist by Jordan Clarkson. Mavericks trail by seven. Hardaway up top, defended by Sexton. For the screen on Sexton. Hardaway goes in. Bucket is good. Well, there's big time athleticism when you're talking about Hardaway. Puts it on the deck and relentless move to the cup. To the middle. And that's good from Sexton on the assist by Jordan. He's got nine. Off to a fantastic start. He's four for five. Watch out. Doncic against George. Here's Doncic. He had 34 points in the win against Utah. And what a wrecking ball defensively, seen by the four steals he had in that game. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Now, here's Doncic. Outside Hardaway. A three. 
and the assist goes to Dodson. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situations. Clarkson outside. George finds Kessler. Outside, George. There's the pick. Six on the shot clock. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Mavericks trail by six. Inside. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Hardaway is screen on George. And George gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Dante Exum is checked in for Jones. Substitution on the court. One twenty-five left here in the opening quarter. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Stolen by Yurtsevin. Clarkson against Washington. The shot by Markinen. Nobody around. A three off the mark. Mavericks trail by six. To the paint. That's tipped. Horton Tucker with it. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Back to Markinen. Stolen by Washington. Here's Hardaway. An easy two points on the lane. Hardaway, Hardaway has got seven points. Well, you can see Tim Hardaway is in his element right now. This guy a solid transition player. He knows where to get to. This is it to Clarkson. With some arc, and the layup is up and in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. George against Doncic. Hit the tip. It's good on the putback. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays on the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Now, Horton Tucker. Here's Yurtsevin. Misses the three. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Jazz out in front, leading by four. From the Delta Center, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. Yeah, so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. Here's Exum, still yet to score. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to face Jordan and the Bulls both times. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Washington out there with Daniel Gaffer. Then it's Exum. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Hardaway in at the two. He had a nice open look right there. Clarkson's got five. Well, give Jordan Clarkson a ton of credit. He has worked tirelessly on this shot. Exum kicks to Irving. Inside. And with that, the Jazz lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Gafford. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. To the middle. Here's Lofton. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. A wise pass right there by the rookie, George. Solid at finding open teammates. 
Exum sets a screen for Washington. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. He nailed two from distance in the opening period. Now gets this one. Utah's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Clarkson taking his time here. Here's Lofton. And the Jazz, another three. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Pass to X. Washington with the screen on Markinen. Exum passes to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Markinen. In transition, here come the Jazz. And there's George. That's good on the assist from Clarkson. And it's a seven-point Utah lead. For Dallas, they've gone a nice 3-3 three three to start the second. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook, thanks to the report. And here's George following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. And the shot goes in. Yeah. Tucker's got his first pass. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Average trail by six. Outside Irving. Exum sets a screen for Irving. No good on the triple. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Utah Jam. They've led by as much as ten. Pass to Horton Tucker. And that's a foul call called on Lowry Markin. That's his first foul. John Collins, he's checked in for Utah. Dunn comes in for Horton Tucker. John Collins. Chris Dunn. Dallas has gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. For the screen on Dunn. Exum kicks to Hardaway. Out left of the wing. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. That nice touch pass right there by Kyrie Irving. That was pretty. George against Irving. Markinen sets the pick for George. Oh. You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Is that all true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats like turnovers or offensive Lowry, rebounds. Marketer. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but Shoot the two. ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. That free throw good for Markinen. And Markinen drops them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Left side, Irving. Matt and the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And the shot goes in. Clarkson's got seven points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Mavericks trail by seven. Irving passes to Hardaway. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. I just love how confident Tim Hardaway Jr. is from long distance. This guy will cash in from there. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got seven over Irving. Collins, great positioning on the putback. And the Jazz lead by six. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. For the screen on George, Irving finds Gamble. 
And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris. Daniel Gamper, what a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. The first one falls. The Jazz making a switch here. Kessler's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Jones is checked in. Gafford cans them both. And here is Dunn. Six points for him. Now the pass to Markinen. Kicks it to Collins. Back to Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. Well, we know Markinen can flat score the basketball, and right now he's got his rhythm going. Outside Irving. Let's it go from deep. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got six rebounds in the game. Jones against Dunn. Down low. In the corner, it's Kessler. George finds Kessler. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Collins from outside. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He led to the line for three free throws. Team five. And a lot of players might have passed that shot up. Not caught. He stays aggressive and draws the foul. Three shots. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. And the second free throw, good. And doing a good job from the line here in the second quarter. Last one's off, and they'll settle for two points. Green in the post. Dunn covering. Passes to Lively. Dallas moving it around. Really left alone that team. Washington has got six points in the quarter. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Markinen sets the pick for Collins. Pass to Dunn. Here's Kessler. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Rockets in Houston. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Now, here's Doncic, trailing by five. Ah, uh, Doncic, very comfortable down low. Boy, you've got to love how Doncic uses his frame and his build. This guy will power right through contact. Pass to Markinen. Working in the screen on Washington. The pass to Dunn. Let's it go with a three. Trills the three-pointer. Dunn's got nine points. Chris Dunn really working to become an effective long-range shooter. When he gets daylight, he's not shy. Washington passes to Lively. Here's Doncic. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. 
to the inside. Here's Markinen. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Boy, it took him a while to warm up, but since the second quarter, he's on fire. Doncic against Dunn. Doncic outside. Outside, Green passes it to Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Trains it from beyond the arc. Three points in the game so far. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems as if those threes just started to fall like raindrops. Here's Kessler. He has six. Pass to Markinen. Over Jones. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. And the Jazz called time here. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hardworking guy on the floor. Isn't he great? He's got that grittiness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Luka Doncic. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. In the corner, Collins with it. Green against Sexton. Over Green. The shot by Sexton, no good. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They trail by one. And the basket by Jones. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Dunn following the score by Dallas. Outside Collins. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Collins has got six here in this quarter. And let the big man eat. It's clear that Collins loves getting these kinds of scoring opportunities. Now, here's Washington. Nine points in the game so far. Off with the layup. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Dunn passes to Sexton. Kessler with it. He's got six. They set the pick. A high post shot. And Utah again with the bucket. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Green against Sexton. On the wing, Doncic. Jones from outside. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Doncic against Dunn. Now Kessler. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Shot by Collins, no good. Dallas shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Doncic finds Green. Washington sets the pick for Doncic. No good with the triple. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Dunn passes to Kessler. He's been up and in off the pretty assist. Kessler's got eight points. Yeah, good luck keeping up with the elite speed of Chris Dunn in the pick and roll. So efficient with his passing and shooting in these sets. From deep, Washington. Collins grabs the miss. Utah's gone 7 of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. Sexton the pass to Kessler. Got a piece of it, and he's able to get it back. Sexton kicks to Markinen. Dunn outside. 
There's the triple. Drops in the tray. And it's a five-point Jazz lead. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. Here's Doncic. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Well, you see what the defense wants to give up there. Look up more than comfortable in the mid-range. And here is Markkanen. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. So that'll be it for the first half. Underway in this one. Jazz lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard-fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking, get the ball in the paint. Use that link to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. How about we start out with the Western Conference and uh, how those teams are stacking up? A look here now at Utah. They're not going to make the playoffs. We knew that. But they did show glimpses of what they could eventually be. Unfortunately, all of that will have to wait the next year. Let's shift focus back to the Utah Jazz, who find little separation after one half a play. Well, they got the extra credit for their hustle on the glass, playing with great energy and intensity. They came into this game determined not to be outworked. And what I like, it's pretty much every possession. They just don't take many plays off. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. There's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. The four and the five, it's Collins and Kessler. Dunn is out there with Sexton, and it's Markinen in at the three spot. And that's the group for Will Hardy as they begin the second half. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. The Jazz working the ball around now. Kicks it to Dunn, over to the wing, and stolen by Irving. Donchich outside. Irving against Dunn. And here's Doncic from the arc. Rebound, Utah. They've led by as much as 10. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now the Mavericks all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA, thank you. Here's Dunn, following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Collins, a screen on green. Here's Markinen. Played in with a nice touch Whoa. off the glass. Markinen's got four this quarter. How about that? Markinen able to take the contact and play through it. Big time finish. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply great. One of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
That free throw good from Doncic. Ask any of the elite defenders in the NBA, and they'll tell you Doncic is one of the toughest to guard. He's got size. He's got skill. He can get downhill. He mixes his pace. So much to contend with when you're dealing with Luka Doncic. All free throws good from Doncic. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Utah leading by three. Harkinen sets the pick for Dunn. Outside Collins. Harkinen from outside. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got four rebounds now tonight. He dishes it to Irving. Pass to Lively. Back to Irving. And the layup fall. Irving. Irving's got four points in the quarter. Boy, what a monster night for Kyrie Irving playing at a very high level right now. Collins, a screen on Irving. Here's Sexton, and it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. The pass to Lively. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Luka. It's good. Doncic. This game is all even. Doncic has got 18 points in the game. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Passes it to Markinen. Dishes it to Collins. Back to Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. I love it when Markinen decides to throw it down. Show some fire on that finish. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Dallas. Pass to Lively. Here's Doncic. For the lead. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Lively's got it all tied up now for the man. For Utah, they've gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Here's Markinen. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Dallas has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Now the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Don't give Luka any airspace, especially when he's handling the rock, because this guy's always a threat in the pull-up game. Pass to Markinen. Kicks it out to Cowan. Sinks the three-pointer. He's got 11. And not even three-quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail -mark. Yes, that goes in. Kyrie Irving. And the Mavericks lead by one. That is Kyrie Irving in a nutshell. You want to give him the mid-range, he'll take it. The consummate three-level score. Markinen sets the pick for Collins. Sets it on the wing. Shot clock at five. Unloads from 13. And the jumper is good. Sexton's got four points this quarter. And guys, for Colin Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots. Because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. And it's blocked. Dunn, right side. The pass to Kessler. They double him with Irving. Jones against Collins. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Puts up a deep three. Dunn misses. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Outside Irving. Doncic outside. Pass to Lively. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Jazz. I like this throwback approach they're taking. Looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. That free throw, no good. Got 
No good on the second free throw. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And, boy, he has got a nose for blocks, doesn't he? I mean, able to detect shots forming and get a hand on the ball. It, it is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball. Irving against Sexton. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Utah leading by three. Here's Dunn. He's got 12. Outside, marking it. From past the arc. Great tee that time from Green. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. And now a glance at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's top assist men over the past 10 games. Number one, Luka Doncic. And those games have seen him dropping more dimes than you might have thought possible. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Doncic. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Utah. All free throws good from Doncic. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Pass to Kessler. At the Dunn. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? One shot. One drops, he ties it up. When it's all said and done for Kyrie, the handle, the creativity, and the big shot making always will stand out. The Mavericks have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Down against Doncic. Pass to Irving and stolen by Sexton. Done outside. Back to Sexton. Here's Collins. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Over in the corner, Doncic. For the lead. Goes back up. And it's Utah with the rebound. Kessler's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Clarkson finds Kessler. Sexton with it. From the arc. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. Here's the pass to Lively. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And the Jazz time call time, time, time here. With the time out. Start it. Jazz fans, Utah Jazz And Utah making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Taking a look now at some numbers for Dunn. How his last 10 games have gone. Averaging five points per game, three assists, and two rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. Just five on the clock. Sexton the pass to Collins. 
near the three-point line. It's Doncic. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Doncic has got the lead up to four now for Dallas. Collins setting the pick for Clarkson. Over Green. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Doncic. Up and in on the way. Now it's a six-point Dallas lead. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Clarkson against Green. Collins a screen on Green. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Clarkson's got nine. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This time makes it look easy. On the wing, Doncic. Outside, Green. Sexton against Hardaway. And the three ball is good. Hardaway Jr. 13 points in the game. Well, how pretty is the shooting form of Hardaway Jr.? This guy is on point. Hudson against Green. Passes it to Sexton. Clearly a foul. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Mavericks. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. And the other thing, guys, credit their game plan. They've been getting the looks they want, and they are executing at a high level. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Colin Sexton has all the physical tools to be special in the NBA. He's got to sharpen his point guard skills. But if he works at this game, he's going to have a tremendous career. Yurtsevini's checked in for the Jazz. George comes in for Dunn. And Sexton drops them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Pass to Washington. And here is Doncic. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Or the way against Sexton. Here's George. Here's Yurtsevin. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Sexton, and that one That's clearly a foul. a foul, gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That and so far the story on Luka Doncic. Since the All-Star break, he has been superb. First in assists, and he's among the top 15 in rebounding. Just a powerful presence in the paint. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. And he knocks down the first one. Lowry Markinen's checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. And Sexton drops them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Doncic against George. Let's the three fly. Yurtsev in with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got nine. Here's Markinen. Misses from short range. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. And the dunk by Doncic. This guy okay. is an absolute machine. Luka Doncic keeping his foot on the gas and giving the defense everything they can handle. George dishes to Clarkson. Back to George. 35 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Good work there as it goes. 
George has got six points. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. That They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Hardaway finds Gafford. Donchich with it. Defended by George. Here's Gafford. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his wow, first wow, he got whacked on that one. Yeah. Shouldn't be much debate there. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Gafford, two shots. And that one falls for Gafford. Horton Tucker's checked in for the Jazz. The Mavericks also with a sub. Dante Exum, he's checked in for Josh Green. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the lock. Jazz trail by four. Horton Tucker with it. Outside, George. Pass to Yurtsevin. Clarkson for three. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Mavericks. Going up the page, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Right back after this break. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. And so George will bring it up for the Utah Jams. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. P.J. Washington is out there with Jones. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Daniel Gafford. And it's Irving at the one. Now here's Jones. And Gafford throws it down. Now how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. And there's the pass to Clarkson. A shot's good on the assist by George. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. On the wing, Irving. Defended by George. Irving misses. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. Spins. Harkonnen sets the pick for George. This is it to Horton Tucker. Markinen shoots over Washington. Hits the J after faking out the D with the quick up fake. Markinen's got 22 points. Well, given Markinen is seven feet tall, feeding him on the interior is probably a good decision. That's a nice touch by the big man. Irving can't hit. Utah trailing here. Feeds to George. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Mavericks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Irving sets a screen for Hardaway. Now, here's Washington. Gavard kicks to Jones. Now, here's Gavard. He's tightly guarded. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Jazz have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Well, this guy is more than capable of making that play. Jordan Clarkson confident around the cup. 
here's Irving. And just miss after miss right now. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Clarkson kicks to George. Markin in a screen on Irving. Pass to Horton Tucker. Now here's Markin. A fader. Bullseye. And now a three-point Utah lead. Boy, the mechanics of Markkinen's shooting is just so pure. You feel like it's going down every time he shoots it. Dallas calls timeout. It's been quite a game for Lowry Markkinen. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. Attention fans, on the court now, your high squad. Kessler's checked in, and now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. Now, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving everything you have. Bring this one home. See if they can pull it off, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And that one good from Clarkson. Well, we understand that Jordan Clarkson is strong enough to take contact and continue through the play. Nice aggressiveness. Now here is Hardaway. Pass to Irving. They need this one. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Irving's got 10 points here in the second half. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out here like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real advantage. Hangs on the trifecta. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Irving passes to Washington. Now, Gafford. The pass to Washington. Gafford with the ball. Outside Hardaway. Fires from deep. Rebound, Utah. The Jazz on offense. They're on a 14-3 run. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Jones, and Jones stands at home. Well, you love the unselfish nature of Kyrie Irving. He understands it's his job to make the guys around him feel good and find them in their sweet spots. Now, here's George. Markkinen sets the pick for George. Here's Clarkson. And the rejection by Gafford. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. And the Jazz with some changes. Collins checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. Sexton comes in for Clarkson. And it's done in for George. Collins passes to Kessler. Six to shoot. With the runner. In deep, Dunn drops it in. Yeah, the D can't stop Chris Dunn in there. The wiry strength and great concentration. Green against Sexton. Washington passes to Irving. Yep, right through the net. Irving's got 33 points. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Passes it to Collins. Now Kessler. Pass to Markinen. And Jones over to help. The open look here for Sexton. Buries it from three-point range. Sexton's got 11 in the second half. Sexton against Green. Outside Irving. Irving double team. Dallas moving the ball around. Jones, no one around him. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First personal foul. First team foul. At 
the line for two. Colin Sexton. And he makes the first. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic has checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Mavericks trail by five. Here's the three. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Kessler. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now the pass to Sexton. Collins, a screen on Irving. Sexton for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Lively's got four rebounds in this game. And here is Doncic. Irving dishes to Doncic. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Shooting for Dallas. Luka Doncic. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Derek Jones. Hardaway is subbed in for Green. All free throws good from Doncic. Here's done. Passes to Kessler. And here is Markinen. Guarded by Hardaway. Markinen against Hardaway. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. Down low. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now, here's Sexton. He feeds it to Collins. He gets it in there. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. At the line for the Jazz, John Collins. One shot. against Dunn. I believe the pass to Doncic. It's deflected and they get it back. Clock at four. Hardaway from outside. Here's Lively. And at last they get one to fall. Lively's got the game tied up here for the man. Dunn with it. Pass to Kessler. Back to Dunn. There's the pass to Sexton. They set the pick. Over Irving. 
Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, Colin Sexton working this shot into his basketball game. Such a critical aspect for him to have. Irving passes to Doncic. Back to Irving. A three ball. It's the three-point bomb. Irving. Irving's got 36. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Markinen finds Collins. There's the lob to Markinen. An emphatic L.U. jam. Okay, Mr. Markinen coming through in the clutch. We see you, young sir. Irving passes to Lively. There's the pick. And stolen by Dunn. Drops in the breakaway lane. And now a three-point jazz lead. Oh, it's a big-time bucket. Chris Dunn doing work. Irving dishes to Doncic. Back to Irving. A good look from Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got six assists in the game. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Passes it to Kessler. Here's the dish to Sexton. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Well, Sexton might be young, but he is unafraid and unabashed. What a play. Pass to Kleba. Here's Doncic. Kleba sets the screen for Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Was there ever a doubt they'd go to Luka Doncic? This guy is a big-time performer. Hard away against Markkinen. There's a minute 34 left here in the fourth quarter. And finished off by Collins. And pressure doesn't get to Collins. Baskets like that prove how locked in he is. Now, here is Irving. Pass to Doncic. Over done. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. That's 36 points for Luka Doncic. Utah has gone 3 or 4 from downtown here in the fourth. Dunn passes to Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. The willingness to embrace the pressure. Markinen, big time delivery. Moving against Sexton. The pass to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Here's Irving. And it's John Collins with the rebound. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Here's Kessler. Nice ball movement by Utah. Three-pointer, Markkinen. Good on the three-point shot. Now it's a six-point jazz lead. Love to see the seven-footer, Markkinen, go right up with it. Doesn't give the defense time to react. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Sexton. Irving kicks to Kleba. Passes it to Lively. Hardaway from outside. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. 
Well, there's a reason they trust this guy in big moments. Tim Hardaway Jr., no problem, he says. Had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. 12 seconds left to play in the final quarter. They go to the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Now, these are the moments where Colin Sexton has got to prove to his teammates he can deliver when his team needs him most. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Well, this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. Pass to Kleba. Takes the three. Nails the triple. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. And the Jazz call time here. They're up by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. They need the ball back as soon as possible. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for Utah, Chris Dunn. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Chris Dunn, a complete basketball player, dynamite scorer, remarkable passer, and one of the elite defenders. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. A, a three and nothing but a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. And so it's Utah who scraped by with a win. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Here with Chris Dunn. You had it going offensively tonight. What got you going? You know, I had to do what I do. You know, be aggressive. You know, uh, I felt like I sacrificed for the team. You know, I, I'm willing to do that. You know, uh, at the same time, I got to do what I do and play with that swag, play with that aggressiveness, and, you know, just get my guys involved and, you know, be able to be aggressive. Well, you certainly influenced the game tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Colin Sexton.